Hi Virgo, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, I'm open for private readings. Right now, the link to my website is below. So what does Virgo need to know? Someone is thinking of you, listening to their intuition, and waking up to this. Okay. You may, somebody you viewing, you may all of a sudden start picking up on someone else's thoughts, you know what they're thinking or feeling, possibly. It's kind of what I'm getting. Others of you, this is a person or this is you who all of a sudden is waking up to the connection you have. Maybe they don't want to lose you. Maybe they're realizing how important this connection is. So someone's having an epiphany about you. <laughs> okay, what is going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I think this came out in Cancer's reading as well. The Sun. Ten of Wands, we have the Five of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Hierophant. Yeah, this makes complete sense because here's the Three Cups here that are spilt in this Five of Cups energy. Someone is sad. Someone feels way down. Maybe you and this person mirror each other right now, possibly. So what is going on with the Sun card? So this is the overall energy. This is very good to have the Sun here, obviously. So full Ten of Wands, Four of Coins, and the Seven of Coins. <gasps> Somebody is missing you, or they've like, been missing you, and they didn't realize that they are in love. This could be someone who's waking up to the fact that they are in love with you, and they never even realized it. You're not around. You guys, either there's distance because of work or school, or um, you guys are fighting, or whatever the reason is, you know, you guys broke up. They're realizing, because right here, they're looking over memories. Like a new beginning, but they feel way down. They're sad. They don't really want to do anything. They're thinking about the past with the seven of coins. So someone is really waking up. That's why the sun is the overall energy. What is this ten of wands energy for the person? So this person is probably spying on you. They could be... Eight ones would be messaging. I don't know, unless they come and visit you in person and spy on you or something like in your neighborhood or something, or they see you. Maybe they could see you at work. They can see you. Maybe they're asking about you as well. That came up in someone else's reading, asking about you. But yet they're not ready to take action with the eight of stores. They haven't made a decision yet what they want to do right there. What is this five of cups energy? Wow, this person's ready to like just step forward and tell you how they're feeling. Uh, give you a gift, some sort of, you know, proposal, not 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 a wedding or anything, but Knight of Coins, give you something here. I like this person's ready to just tell you exactly what they're feeling, that they're broken hearted, they miss you. They're feeling very overwhelmed. Now this can also be how they view you, the Five of Cups. So I don't know if you are missing this person. There's definitely some sort of strong bond here where you guys like each other, you guys get along, you have fun. Three of Cups, Tower, the Sun, and the Moon. Oh, thinking about you every day, night and day, nine, whoops, night, sorry, nine of cups was under the deck, queen of swords, temperance, two of cups, so we have Pisces, Scorpio, Leo energy here, Taurus is here also, but this is thinking about you night and day, this is being, again, woken up, some of you may be traveling or you may be in, a, you know, somewhere where it's very sunny, I'm getting very hot for some reason, I'm getting desert too, for some reason, but again, what is this hair font? What is this hair font energy? What is going on? Communicating, four of wands, the three of coins, seven of swords, the lovers. Someone's going to try to make their way towards you without them, without you knowing you're, they're making their way towards you. So that's interesting. Because I have them spying on you here, and it felt like it was kind of in person, like it was around your house or at your job or something, but I know that's not going to resonate for all of you but they're not making a move yet. But here, it's kind of like they have a plan of how they're gonna to come towards you. Maybe they will you know, work at your house. Maybe you guys will see each other at a certain you know, restaurant or meetup or something. Um, there's something where you guys are coming back together, but it looks like they're kind of hiding feelings for you. Seven of Swords and the Lovers, or they're hiding that. Maybe they're gonna go back and go to the same gym as you. And it seems like it's a coincidence. It's not. Or maybe they're going to try to run into you because they know where you're at at certain times. But it's not. They're trying to run into you on purpose. They're trying to make excuses to see you, Virgo. They want to be in a relationship with you. So this may be a friend or someone you worked with, co-worker. Um, could it be an ex? Yes, it could. But it looks like, 
a little bit different energy to me. Because this awakening is, you know, big for them. And so they're like, wow, I think about Virgo all the time. They're always on my mind. I miss them. So this could be like a friend and but they fall in love. What, what would they say to you? They want to start over. I want to tell you how I feel. I love you unconditionally. I remember every detail of that day. And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay. What was specific about that day? What was specific about that day? They may have tried to cheer you up. There may have been a get-together, get maybe with family with a ton of coins. Um, they may have also felt very sad after like the whatever it was, the event, the party, the whatever was over. There may have been something special where they went someplace with you as like your um, as a, like a guest or a date or something like that. Okay, Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Oh, got three. Have faith, celebration, protection. So the celebration card can mean around your birthday because of this deck. Number five, but it also says you're ready to bring new exciting things into your life. So this is a new relationship, Virgo. So again, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo's here. We have Taurus as well. Let me go to a different deck here. What does Virgo need to know? Who is this person? Gemini's here. Someone has a confession exactly what I'm seeing. Someone wants to confess their love for you, tell you how they're feeling. Another one for Virgo. They may travel, come see you. It says you'll be traveling soon or going on vacation. This person is um, under your under your spell. And then there may be someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. I don't know if that's true, but it came out. So let's clarify that. There could be, I didn't even see a third party. I guess we do have some threes here, but Oh, we do have some threes here. It is possible there is another person here. Who is this someone else card? Four of Cups, the Strength card, the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Swords. Oh, this person, look at that. The Seven of Swords, lovers in both decks. This person loves you. Maybe that's why they're not moving forward. Is this possibly for some of you a third person or is there someone else involved and they don't want to step on toes so they know the right thing to do is just to kind of wait? No wonder they're doing how they're kind of doing. I was wondering, they're, it could also be a job, something like that too. There's something here like they are trying to get back together with you without being like super noticed. Just kind of like sliding back into the way things used to be because they miss you. This could be someone, again, you work with. Maybe they got transferred. Now they're going to transfer back. It's kind of like, again, like they almost and they just kind of show up. Like, yeah, I'm back. Why wouldn't I be back? But there's a reason they're back, Virgo. They have feelings for you. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. What does this person, what else do you need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Hammer says, sabotage, rebuild, persistent, working on it, repairing. So this person may actually be in a construction, or you may be in construction with a hammer card coming out. Because I got someone who works on homes, or you know, works on buildings, or something like that. Maybe what they do, if you don't know who this is, this is passion under the deck. Some of you Virgos may not know who this is. They may be somebody who sees you, and again, talks to you, but there's like no big deal. Then all of a sudden, when you're gone, the, all of a sudden they found out they fell in love. The moon card is here. That would be feelings. So it could be that the tower. Well, we do have the three of cups right here, don't we? We do have a big three of cups in the hidden position. But I don't want to read it that way for everyone because I know that is not the case. You could be with someone or there with someone. But I kind of feel like anyone, honestly, Virgo, I feel like it would be you. If you're not with somebody else right now, then it's, uh, it's, I think it's not a third party. Some of you may, I don't know, I guess about wine. I know they're all drinking their glasses, but I'm actually getting something specifically about drinking wine, wine tasting, going to a winery, something like that too, maybe for someone, party. There it is, okay. What else does Virgo need to know? Coffee cup, meeting and talking. I'm telling you, they could just show up at your, your favorite coffee place if that's where you go every day or you know on the weekend. 
So it says meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated and building a friendship. So there's, again, I mean, this could be someone who works at a coffee shop or you work at a coffee shop. You're a barista. Maybe they come in every day. Maybe you got moved or something and now they miss you, something like that. So you gotta be very open because sometimes things are not what they appear. It's not the first thing you're thinking about. You may think, oh, this reading doesn't apply to me. Oh, nobody loves me. Nobody's interested in me. You don't know that. I get, I just said, you're someone's cup of tea. So there's someone out there that matches your energy who likes the same things you like. I promise you, someone is missing you. Hammer and a coffee cup. I'm not trying to see if those two go together in sword and rose. Clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, determination. All it is is clarity, it's truth. It's the, it's the spiritual awakening right there. Someone is like, oh my gosh, I have feelings for Virgo. So what else do we need to know? Who is this person or something else we need to know? I'm not going to do signs because you may not even know this person's sign. Like if they worked at a coffee shop, how would you know? Anything else in this deck? And a sudden they flipped around. Secrets, the journal secrets, like a diary. Someone wrote something down. There's a secret here. Someone likes you. What is it? Obviously, it's that they like you, but what else is going on here? The moon, feelings, emotions. Wow, secret feelings. Someone has secret feelings for you, Virgo. Number seven could be important. Don't go read much. Don't read too much into that one, okay? I'm kind of getting like, but something about 2007 might have been important or the number seven. If it doesn't fit at all, don't make it fit because that was this very vague for somebody that came through. So someone who's supportive, they could be in some sort of supportive, I don't know, industry or something like it can mean something else. So remember also like keep, keep a general feel for when the card comes out, what it can mean. Perfect match. See, I'm telling you guys, you guys are very similar. You have a lot of similar likes, dislikes. Get there about the same age as you on their mind and in their heart. And this person may be artistic. So I do read that as, you know, this could mean, you know, the clothes they wear are different. They have colored hair, a lot of piercings, tattoos, something like that. They could be an artist, obviously, but um, artistic. I'm also getting a name like Art or something. Maybe it's something Arthur. Maybe their name is actually starts with an A. Arthur, artistic, something like that. What is the initials of their name? I have an O. That's the only one I got. Wow. But I have Leo and Cancer came out. So, all right, Virgo, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.